So there's some people in this world that are just so shitty that there really isn't any point trying to find redeeming qualities in them. I don't know if these people are those specific people, but this is still a pretty fucked up thing in my opinion. So if you guys hadn't heard a few days ago, there was a video uploaded by a guy named Republic Attack, who is a custom Lego builder. He makes insane replicas of scenes from Star Wars, not using kits, like he, he very, very elaborate Lego designs, which is, it's like a pretty common thing that people do. And unfortunately, uh, he was robbed recently. He was away on business and somebody had specifically gone into his home and stolen most of his very large projects uh, and then smashed anything they didn't take. So very much a targeted attack. And, and you might think that it was just a regular robbery that people were just, you know, they, they saw the Lego, decided to steal a bunch of it and then wanted to do the destruction half of the thievery but I don't think that's the case because there was a number of electronics in the home, including a MacBook, which easily would have been the first thing most thieves would have taken if they saw it anywheres, but they literally just went in, stole a bunch of the Legos and smashed whatever they didn't take. So I'm gonna play a little clip right here of the guy because it's really, it's really upsetting and it's really, really heartbreaking. And my creation, which was here, um, gone. Totally destroyed. So I'm just stopping. So, um, and probably I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, so it was really great to have you uh, for me during the eight years and inspire other people doing also Legos. Um, I really enjoyed that. That is his. That's his life's work, basically. Just, just down down the toilet. And I know a lot of people um, were kind of saying like, that's a grown man crying about Lego. What the hell is wrong with him? Like, why, why would you be upset about something like that? But you just gotta break it down. Like people, ev everyone has a hobby. Everyone has hobbies. Everyone has things that they love doing that, you know, is away from work if they're not lucky enough to have that be part of their career. Some people build Lego and build amazing creations like this. Other people paint pictures, other people sculpt, some people read books, some people write books, some people make videos, some people make short films. Unfortunately, some people's hobbies are doing really shitty things like, like this, but for the most part, like everybody just has these passions and hobbies in life. And, and to have something that you've worked so incredibly hard on just be senselessly destroyed and stolen it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Think of the thing that you love doing the most and if something happened that would prevent you from doing it or set you back to square one. Say you were a writer and somebody stole your hard drives and that all your stories gone. Or if you were a musician and someone stole your guitar. Or if you were an artist and someone smashed all of your art supplies. Or if you were just someone who loved watching movies and somebody stole your collection. Just any anything like that. Anything that you are passionate about. Anything that you love and somebody specifically goes out of their way to shit on it for no real reason, because this was definitely targeted. There was, there was no way that this wasn't a targeted attack, which it, it's just terrible. And unfortunately the stuff that he had totaled quite, quite a bit of money considering Lego, I think Lego has been reported to be a better investment than gold. So Lego both retains its value and increases in value over the year. Think about like some of these older Star Wars sets and how much they go for now. It's because they basically print things and then they never print it again. And if they make a different version of it down the road, it's not the same as the one that they would have released. Like there's three or four different versions of the Millennium Falcon at this point. The Death Star goes for like three grand. It's absolutely insane how much Lego retains and gains value. So most of the stuff that this guy has wouldn't just be a one-to-one -one replacement ratio. It would be in the thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. And then not to mention the time, like the amount of time it would take to design out maps and locations. It's not just a matter of building things, it's watching scenes from the movies, looking at different art stills and, and production pictures and figuring out how something should articulate with something else and you know, adding characters in. Like it, it, was, it was real art, it was truly art. I'm gonna show a little bit of, of some of his videos from before it happened, um, just because it, it's really amazing stuff. The 
Like, that's absolutely incredible. And now, just because of the actions of a handful of depraved, disgusting, douchebag individuals, this guy feels like he can't continue with his passions. And that is so heartbreaking to me, because I hate it when people feel like they've been pushed to a point that they have to stop pursuing the things they love. Like, I really hate people like that. Like, if somebody is not actively hurting someone else, there's really no reason to try to... And I'm not talking about, like, basic criticism. It's clearly okay to criticize people if you feel like they're doing something wrong or doing something in a wrong way or you're trying to offer tips. I'm talking about people who just come out of nowhere. Like, there's just no sense behind it. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, and it's disgusting. Now, luckily, a GoFundMe was started for this guy with the original goal of a thousand, which honestly would not even have put a damper on the amount of like blocks and individual pieces he would have needed, but the campaign ended up getting $18,000, $18,350. It's, it's since been closed, they've stopped accepting donations, probably just because of how, like this is in two days, in two days it made almost $20,000. So they stopped the donations. Um, a lot of people are saying, hey, maybe they should readjust the money in a different way, but honestly, this guy's, collection, I'm gonna say would probably be around $15,000 if he was gonna try to replace it, maybe even higher. And I guess actually reading here now, the reason why the GoFundMe was stopped was because Republic Attack specifically asked the guy who started it to, to stop it because he didn't want to accept any more money from anybody because he's, he's that humble. He's saying that the support he's received is already way more than he could have expected. And luckily the campaign organizer is actually saying that he's hoping that after everything goes through the bank, he'll have the money to him by the end of this week, and if not, early next week. But don't worry guys, nothing ever goes wrong with uh, GoFundMes. A homeless man who made headlines for helping out a stranger in need is asking some serious questions today. What happened to the roughly $400,000 that was donated on his behalf after his Good Samaritan story went viral? But either way, at this point, clearly, uh, financially, he's he's been helped. But I'm really hoping that somebody who's this creative could potentially maybe get a job with Lego because they are always looking for really creative people like this to not just build sets that are going to be sold, but to build stuff for, like, the Lego stores and to build stuff for, you know, like the Disney areas that have the Lego store stores. And like Star Wars is always booming. So if he's got a particular affinity for that, like there's no way that they wouldn't have a use for a person like this. So if you guys want to kind of share his channel with Lego, because I'm, I'm sure they know about it already, but it's just one of these things that if you can get, you can get a good movement going for it. Because I honestly think this guy has like a genuine like passion for this. And if he wants a chance to, to maybe get some help from Lego, I think that that would be a really cool thing to have happen, but at this point, luckily, every once in a while, humanity surprises me. Every once in a while, humanity does something and steps up for people, and it's just a really beautiful thing to see, and this is one of those cases. It might just seem like something really basic, like this guy just got robbed, but it wasn't just being robbed of individual items. It was being robbed of his spirit, robbed of his passion. Like, this was a broken man. And, and this little act of kindness, which, you know, if like a bunch of small donations from a lot of people adds up so incredibly quickly, and it's amazing. It's amazing to see. So either way, definitely send this guy some love on his YouTube channel. Just subscribe to his channel if you want to support it because it's just really cool stuff to see. Like I know I do a lot of uh, Lego kit building sometimes on stream and people are into it. So if you're kind of if you're kind of into that, feel free to drop this guy a sub. I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. And just let him know that it is not worth giving up, and that you know the world the world can be a beautiful place and people want to see his creations. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you all later.